there is uh, obviously a lot of uh, bills uh, in the floor of the Senate, and I hope that we'll get a date soon. Now, an aspect of the bill when it's going through it, the, the aspect that had to do with uh, fines for health um, facilities or hospitals who refuse treatments to people. We know this has been a major problem in the country for a while. We have instances where accident victims or gunshot victims are rushed to hospital or healthcare facilities and are denied treatment. Some of these facilities would insist that um, a, a police report be made or be given to them before these victims are being given treatment. And in, such, in some cases, you find out that some of the victims even die while, in, while this process is going on. So how would this bill address this issue? Uh, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are aware of that, and that is why we have also uh, made a provision that no, no, no hospital facility, no doctor or health professional has the right to refuse emergency that is treatment to any patient under any, 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 any guise. They don't have the right to do that. You must first attend to the patient, and if you think that the patient needs a referral, you must do the first aid, do the necessary first, and then after doing the needful, you can now refer the patient. You cannot just abandon a patient. But we have also realized that there is a challenge, uh, especially when people come in emergency situations, there is a challenge because most of these people are scared. What, how do we get paid for the work that we do? We don't, sometimes you don't even know the person that is coming in. Probably it's an accident case. So no relations. Who is going to pay us for the services that we offer? But we insisted you must first attend to the patient. But to that extent, we have also uh, provided a, a little percentage of the basic health care fund to address that. And we are expecting that the Ministry of Health, the, the Minister of Health should be able to create a, a, a proper committee liaising with the commissioners of the state through the National Council on Health, create an existing committee to manage this pool of funds to attend to some of these emergency cases so that people will not, for the scare of the fact that I may not get paid for the services that I offer, uh, I'm not able to uh, attend to an emergency case. So that will no longer be the case if they realize, rightfully so, uh, that a pool of funds have been provided for that. Uh, the the, the workout on how to manage that fund will be done by the National Council on Health. Either they are going to have direct committees that will disburse funds or they will work in conjunction with the National Health Insurance Scheme to handle uh, the funding and, and put it into a kind of head plan. I'm sure that the details of that work will be done uh, officially. But how do you ensure compliance? The truth, the truth is that there are ways of ensuring compliance because reports will definitely be made. If you are refused treatment or in any place, either you, when you get better, or your relations, or even um, interested parties, civil society organizations, can make a formal report. And once it is there in the legislation and you have sanctions for that, I'm sure that no doctor will want to, 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 to disobey uh, normal legislations because you are able to face the, uh, medical, tri uh, the, the, uh, the medical tribunal. And uh, I also believe that even other health professionals, their regulatory councils, uh, and the appropriate sanctions beyond the sanctions that are even put in the, in the legislation. So they would not want to disobey the laws of the land because the law is made very clear. Before now, you didn't have any sort of thing. There's no law that holds them back. So they want to fall back on the fact that, oh, uh, we can't get paid, we can't do this, and you don't have any law to hold them back. Even beyond the issue of uh, emergency treatment, you find that there are so many other uh, clauses that are provided for in the bill that has to ensure that we have a better uh, service delivery because in the past there are some uh, aspects as to when you look at issues of uh, organ removal, organ transplant, tissue removal, tissue transplant, there were no regulations actually guiding all this, and it shouldn't be so. So we have effectively brought them into the health legislation so that uh, health personnel do not abuse 
uh, the lacuna that we have at the moment where you don't have appropriate legislations guiding some of this. So we know that the Senate has passed this, this, um, the, the National Health Bill. What next? When is the House of Representatives supposed to look at this bill? And how soon do we think that this bill will be passed by the National Assembly and sent to the presidency for assent? It's actually been sent to the House of Representatives. I'm trying to work with them to see that we quickly get it uh, listed for first reading. I was assured that it may be listed for first reading this week. And uh, once they quickly take the second reading, um, I think that the third reading won't be a, 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 a big problem because a thorough work was done by the Senate. And when we were doing our public hearing, uh, five of the committee members who are doctors uh, from the Committee on Health and the House of Reps were with us. So we're expecting that um, very, very, yeah, they, they, no, no. So they, they will quickly go through that. So it's just getting the date for the second hearing after the listing, because the, the first reading is just listing in the other paper. So I hope that we'll get a date for the second hearing very quickly. My colleague in the House of Rep has also assured that uh, they speedily go through the processes uh, as soon as we get through the second reading. Because the second reading is not by him, it will have to be uh, by the majority uh, and deputy majority leader to handle that. <laughs> Now this is where we call it a day for this week's edition of The Gavel. If you have any views or opinions on any of the issues discussed, please email us on thegavel at channelstv.com. Thank you for staying with us and see you again next week.